What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're going to be going over the WellU 12 Lead Holter Monitor. So this is something you're able to have on your person, checking out your heart rate and even ECG levels. And you can send all this stuff to your doctor and it's relatively portable. But let's see if it's right for you. So let's go ahead and get right into it. getting into the unboxing so well you did send me to this to kind of go over to see some of the for you guys it has the actual monitor right here and it is pretty small it has a micro usb and a hdmi right here on the side and it even has a little protective cover for the screen and it has manual right here in a couple different languages and some disposable ECG electrodes as well right here on top. When you get into it, it has a little inspection sticker and who was inspected, got by, an operation manual guide in a couple different languages. It even comes with this nice little case right here that is magnetic, which is nice. And that even has a little belt holder as well. Hey look, it includes batteries. That's actually relatively nice. Also comes with a card reader that has USB, it has lightning, and it has USB-C all built in here. And a USB drive so you can set up on your computer. One year warranty from WellU. And of course it has all the electrodes here as well connecting via the HDMI right on the actual holder. These are things that are very helpful. So when you are getting the batteries in, it actually comes with its own screwdriver. So that's very helpful. So you don't need to go fumbling around in your garage to find one. All right, next thing we need to do is put on the electrodes. They did give you 10 in the box, but only 10 and they are not reusable, they are disposable. So if you are looking to get more, that's gonna be a problem. But they do give you this nice little color guide here of where everything should go. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be using. I'm just go ahead and start at one. So, oh yeah, that makes it easy. Kind of right above the nipple, right over here. Actually, that's two. They do say that you should actually take up all your hair, but I didn't end up doing that. I'm just gonna be using this as is, just like this. I'm gonna put the two up near my clavicles so they're kinda of right outside the clavicle, right about here, right up here as well. Basically on both sides of the navel. And then we're also gonna be going down the left side of the breast, kinda of right underneath. Probably people at well you are like, you are not doing this right, but I'm doing it the best of my ability and all the way to the outside out here as well. Now that we got that all set up, we're gonna go ahead and place the battery right in. And of course, using built-in screwdriver, it actually has a little magnet there so you don't lose the actual screw. Opening that up, and then you have actually way too many batteries since we only have one pair of electrodes. But they do say make sure to place it in correctly, so I'm gonna do that. Also, the SD card is right here as well, so if, when you are gonna be bringing this over to your computer, you're gonna need to do that. All right, the screen is already on. Now let's get the electrodes on. So, so everything's pretty much labeled. This is going up to the right side, clicking in, easy peasy. This one's coming up to the left side. Right in, V2, V3, 4, 5, and V6. And we have an RL down near the abdomen and our L, L. So that's all put in. We're gonna hit the enter button. So one thing I definitely wanna note for you guys, if it is set up for a, sec a different language when you are here, you will need to go to this second to last here at the bottom, click the top and you can switch down to English, which makes things a lot easier. You can switch out the idea if you like. Then from here, we need to set up the date and time. So it is 2022. Two. Let's set up the time as well. And then from here, we can go into options, the gain and recording time, so how many days you want to go. And then up here, we're going to go into review, hit the menu button, and then we are going to start recording and hit OK. Check the ID number, whichever one we do, and we're just going to hit OK. It does need to uh, format the SD card, but then it's just going to go ahead and start recording. And after that recording, we're going to go into how to get it over to your computer. So as you guys can tell, it's a little bit of a mess on this desk, but let's go ahead and get the actual stuff set up into my computer. So I am plugging in that USB. Cool, next. Yeah, let's create a desktop shortcut. 
And while that is doing all that, I'm going to be pulling out the SD card reader. So this is helpful if you want to set it up to anything. And as you can tell, I actually have it on right now. Actually, you probably can't tell. There is a little bit of poof, I guess you could say, with the wires underneath. But it's actually pretty discreet and probably anybody wouldn't even know it was there. And when you take this little reader out, it has its own little compartment that you could use. Of course, it has its USB, it has its card reader with a micro there as well, but this has a lightning and a USB-C that if you need to put it into a computer with. Also, as a quick aside, when I was setting this up, I didn't push it all the way in. It was kind of half off, so when I did push it all in, I actually ended up seeing the readings here, and then you can kind of see what the readings are on your different uh, ones, like your V3, your V4, stuff like that, and where the readings are, so you can kind of get a live feedback of what's going on. Now that we've been recording for a little while, I'm going to stop this manually by holding the enter button and the down button. All right, we are all stopped. It actually took a little bit more than I thought it was, and now let's go ahead and get it loaded onto the computer. All right, we're going to need to open this baby up. And they say get rid of the AA battery or AAA battery, especially if you use the entire time because you always want a fresh AAA battery every time you use it. All you can do is press down on the SD card and that should kind of pop out. It takes a little bit of a nail to get in there. Now we're going to put it into the receiver. It is a 16 gigabyte card that they give you. We're going to go ahead and load the system first. All right, so that downloaded the data. That looks like everything is right there. Yep, from today, let's go ahead and analyze it. So it's telling me right now it's going to take about 30 minutes to analyze this piece of data, and we're going to get back to you when it's done. All right, we are back with the report, so you can go to the Analyze Statistic report right here, and it gives you an idea of what happened, your maximum heart rate, your minimum heart rate, of course, your average as well. Gives you an idea about your ventricle rhythm and stuff like that. HRV, which is actually pretty awesome as well. And it gives you a little breakdown that you can send out. Like I said, I forgot to fully connect in the actual thing. And as soon as I did, it finally got me at around page 19 of 61. But you can see the entire thing and what your overall max heart rate was, minimum heart rate over here. You could change the different leads and how that all affected everything and gives you a pretty big analysis. You could download this all as a PDF and be able to send it out to whomever you want. And of course, viewing the report, it gives you another PDF that you can kind of check on through. And of course, if you're using this for a bigger day, it's gonna give you a bigger analysis. It gives you a lot of great information, especially if you're looking for stuff like that. Giving you an overview of what it all is, it is that 24-hour ECG reported. It is $500, but you can get it for a discount. And using my link down below, you get a better discount as well, so go ahead and use that. But it's got AI analysis to diagnose those abnormal ECGs. Full detail report has the LCD screen. It is medical grade accuracy with 1 million independent test data, lightweight. It is really easy, as you saw. Didn't really, it was actually relatively discreet as well. It's got your data management and it's certified as well. It's got your peace of mind built in, very lightweight. You can share those reports with doctors that makes it very helpful. And those detailed reports as well, ECG waveforms. Oh, also at the bottom, you can buy more of those disposable electrodes for 30 bucks. So who is this made for? This is made for a lot of professionals out there that are looking for a solid ECG report from one of their patients and they just can't have them in the house the entire time. They can send them home 24 hours and I'll actually stop recording after that 24 hours. But of course, I stopped a little bit early, but it gives a lot of great information. Also, this is built for somebody who is looking to be at home and check where their ECG levels are without having to sit down for longer periods of time. And especially if you've had events in the past and are looking to see what that is all about, you'll be able to send this out to your doctor for them to be able to analyze and figure out what's going on. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please smash that like button. And if it was really helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out. And if you're going to be using my link down below, it's going to send you out to WellU to be able to purchase this product with a discount. So definitely use that. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.